Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be learning about masks. Take a look at these Native American masks of the Northwest. Wow, it's so cool to see how they painted them, the way they wore them historically. Here are some masks from Mexico. Look at the variety of different shapes and some African masks. So many shapes and forms. Each culture creates masks that are different. I think it's so neat to look at these masks from other countries. There's also other ways of painting, like these Oaxacan sculptures. And getting started, we're gonna use a variety of brushes, inspiration, and it's up to you what kind of paint you wanna, what kind of way you wanna paint your mask and what you're inspired by. Now to start with, get a paper towel and put it underneath your mask because you're probably gonna paint off your mask and this is gonna protect the table. Start with your base color. My base color is my lightest color and use a large brush for large areas. This is gonna make it faster and more efficient with the time we have. Look what happens when I try to use a small brush. It takes a lot longer. So use the right tool for the job. If it's a big area, use a big brush. And when you're cleaning your brush between colors, you can rub the brush on the ridge of this can or just make sure you get a paper towel and completely clean all of the paint out of the bristles. My brushes are clean and I'm ready to move on to my first shape. I'm going to use a smaller brush to basically draw with. Use the right tool for the job. I have a small brush to draw with. You can use your sketch for inspiration and try to match the colors you have from your sketch, or you can use colors that are intuitive to you. And take your time drawing with this paintbrush. Painting. Once I have the shape painted that I want to paint within with the small brush, I'm going to find a bigger brush, a medium brush, and use it for this medium area. Again, just trying to use the right tool for the job and be efficient with the time I have. Just taking my time, and in this video I fast forwarded now, when you're cleaning your brush and your palette at the end of class, make sure you use soap. And you're probably gonna have to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until your brush is finally clean. It's really important that no paint is left in these bristles. Next, when you clean your palette, you can use a sponge your fingers or even a wet paper towel because you don't want a dirty palette you want a clean palette now I've added all of these base coats of paint added these basic shapes and then I went in and added more details I hope you enjoy painting your mask